Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of Plat Boy, where today I am on the floor. I feel very grounded. It's very um quiet. It's about to get dark. So I didn't want to um, meditate on cards and do the whole shuffling thing. I'm just gonna do it right here live and I'm just gonna pick stones off the floor. So I got the Shadowscape Tarot with me. I guess we're just gonna see who has a crush on you. <gasps> or maybe I should do something else. All right, yes, we'll do, we'll do who has a crush on you. Okay, so number one. This is number one. Number two. And number three. So pause the video, focus on the stones, just tune into the stones. I can't hold this. Tune into the energies. All right, one. One, two, three. And just ask the question in your head, who has a crush on me? All right, everybody that has picked number one. All right, hello everybody that has picked number one. Let's see who has a crush on you. So everybody that has picked number one. I'm using my knee. Who has a crush on everybody that has picked number one? <clears throat> Let's see who has a crush. Who has a crush on you? Let's get like three cards. <sighs> All right. This person's very aggressive, gets what they want. So I feel like, I feel like they're going, they are going to come towards you if they really want you. Whew. Queen of Wands. I feel like if this person really does want you, they're just going to get you. So instantly, if they have a crush on you, then they're going to come towards you and tell you everything that they feel, okay? The Four of Cups. Ooh. This might have been somebody that you um, kind of dismissed in the past. Okay, maybe you, like, this person tried to get at you in the past, and then you were just like, nope. Now they're coming back at you. So this is somebody that maybe fought. I feel like maybe you guys were in relationships, and then somebody came through. I'm sorry if I keep looking around. This is just, like, the walking time. I don't just don't want to run into any human beings right now in my moment of peace and in my moment of silence grounding mindfulness but anyways this is like if you're in a relationship and someone tried to get at you while you were in this relationship i feel like that's who has a crush on you and if you probably know who this is um but yeah this can be somebody from the past or somebody that has like tried to get at you maybe you're older and this is like someone from high school that had a crush on you and then they're just like just found you on Facebook or something <laughs> or like found you on like Instagram and now they're like trying to come back. They do seem very aggressive. Like I said, before I, before this card came out, they're just very aggressive. Like they're going to get what they want. Maybe they were like aggressive in the past and that's why you broke up with them. But or they're going to try to, they're trying to get at you. They're trying to like be your crush and get at you to get something from you or to take something away from you. So this might be pettiness. This might be someone coming up. Um, this is for some people, not everybody. There might be somebody that's coming up to you like from your past. That's like, I love you. I want you. But it's all pettiness. Okay. So if there's like drama involved and like you feel some weird energy, then your intuition is correct. Okay. They want to get something out of it or they want to just like ruin something maybe get in the, in between a relationship you have now but we shall see okay thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe if that resonated and until next time the world of plat boy everybody that has picked number two this is for you okay so let's see who's crushing on you all right 
Let's see who is crushing on everybody that has picked number two. Ooh. All right. The Chariot. This is somebody who's very confident. I feel like this is somebody who is striving and getting whatever they want. So they are they are already so successful, okay? Um, so they already have their success in line. They're already like a businessman. Maybe you know this person. Maybe you work with this person and you're a businesswoman or vice versa. You're a businessman, businesswoman, business, whatever you want to identify as. Um... <clears throat> But I feel like they like put on this persona that they're so stable and they're not really stable, okay? This was reverse. Like they want to know what they're talking about, but they don't really know what they're talking about. Let's see what else. One more card. Who is crushing on number two? Who is crushing on you number two? Again, very confident. Like puts on this puts on this show. He's almost like theatrical with everything he does. <gasps> I feel like this is somebody who embraces and like knows who they are and they know what kind of label they have. Like maybe they're, they're like the funny guy, so they're like always funny, or maybe they're like the like the cool guy, so they're always cool. Or you know what I'm getting like getting to like they always put on this like see this this I'm seeing this before I see the man, okay? So it's like, again, he's not as stable as you think, okay? But he's coming towards you, okay? He gets what he wants. He goes for what he wants. And he's successful. You can give it to him. He might not be as grounded, but he's successful and he can act grounded. So maybe that's enough for him. Um, yeah. You probably know this person through, like, business, I feel. But that is you guys, okay? Let's see if I get anything else. Yeah, this also is somebody I really feel like you know this person. Maybe you've got on, gone on a couple dates with this person. Like, I feel like you have this relationship with them where it's like, oh, like he's, he's like that funny guy coming up to you. Like, yo, when am I going to take you on a date? Like, when am I going to take you on a date? Hey, beautiful. Like, he's like that, like that little charming, like um witty he's witty and charming i feel and he like probably has taken you out on a date or like constantly tries to get at you like in a funny way where it's like everybody knows he likes you you know it's like that type of little relationship but yeah i hope that resonated uh let me know comment like and subscribe if that resonated and until next time the world of Plat boy hello everybody everybody that has picked number three this is for you okay Let's see who is crushing on you. Everybody that has picked the number three, who is crushing on them? Wow, okay. <clears throat> this person seems very spiritual. Um, very whole. He seems like he probably has taught you a lot. I feel like this is somebody you probably have gone to in the past to talk about things and they come they give you like the best advice because they kind of been through like the craziness in life yeah and you like this person back this is like a mutual thing like you've gone to this person they give you all this advice you know because they know everything and they've experienced all this maybe it's an older person um older than you more mature so they like help you with all this thing these things that you haven't experienced yet and they just shine this light like this light on your life like they almost make your life so much easier um yes the emperor okay he might be an aries he definitely possesses aries energy okay like he's very strong in what he does he knows what he does and he's doing everything that he wants to because he wants to okay and nothing's gonna stop him from getting what he wants, okay? Maybe anger, but I don't know, not even. I feel like he probably knows these things. Oh, this is your soulmate, I feel. I feel like this is just someone you feel so connected with. Like you feel so, so like the same. And the Eight of Wands, they make you feel so confident. See, like the way he speaks to you, he speaks to you in so much confidence and so much beauty that you just like feel the genuinity in his verbiage 
You just feel his genuinity in the way he talks, okay? Yep. Ace of Swords, okay? Just the way he talks is just, like, so, like... It just draws you in. And, like, he his speech is what, like, impacts you, okay? So, like, you come to him to speak to him. You, like, you love... Like, maybe he's a Gemini. <gasps> Gemini. Aries. Virgo. But he's very, like, strong in teaching you and shining light over your life. And he genuinely cares about you. And I feel like this is a soulmate. I feel like this is someone in your soul family that's here to help you. And you're there to help him in whatever ways you help him with, okay? If it's just emotional support or, like, unconditional love and that's what he wants. But, like, we'll see where that goes, okay? I feel like you guys are going to end up together because the lover's card. But, yeah, let me know if that resonated. And until next time, the world of play.